Today I will teach you how to use the first principle to differentiate this fx. I know if without using first principle, right, I believe all of you can easily get the answer, right? If I differentiate fx, it's called f prime x, isn't it? You will get 6x. So right now, if I'm using first principle, will I getting back the same 6x over there? Let's check it out. So first thing is you need to know the first principle formula. First principle formula is basically um, fx plus h minus fx divided by h. And then at the end, you need to add the limit for h, which is we want to make the h become 0. So we add the limit when h becomes 0. Okay, so first thing is if you learn function before, you definitely see something like bracket x plus h, right? That means right now your x will become the x plus h. So same idea, your x square will become the x plus h square. Did you get the idea? Let's check it out. So this is what happened. This is 3. My x will become x plus h square minus my fx is 3x square. The whole thing divided by h. So what I will do next is I will expand the bracket. So I expand the power 2 bracket shouldn't be too difficult. This is x square plus 2hx plus h square minus 3x square over h. Then what we do next is we will multiply the 3 into every single one. So we get 3x square plus 6hx plus 3h square and then minus 3x square over h. So you can see 3x square and minus 3x square, we can eliminate them, become 0. And then 6hx, we divide by h, we get 6x. And then 3h square, I divide by h, I still have 3h. Remember what I said just now, we need to make the h become 0. So this is 6x plus 3, 0. Because the limit want to make the h become 0. So my final answer is 6x. It's not too bad, isn't it? First principle.